The journey begins the most distant object ever built by human hands isn't resting on Earth. And it isn't quietly circling any familiar planet in our solar system. It drifts alone, further away than any human creation has ever dared to go. Voyaging through the frozen, silent sea between the stars. That object is called Voyager 1. Launched by NASA in the year 1977, Voyager 1 began as a small spacecraft. A tiny machine, no larger than a modest car. Built with technology less advanced than today's simplest smartphone. Yet this fragile explorer has achieved something extraordinary. It has traveled more than 22 billion kilometers from Earth. And astonishingly, it still lives. Still transmitting faint whispers of information. From a realm no other probe has ever entered, interstellar space. Its signal is unimaginably weak. Weaker than the glow of a refrigerator bulb. Yet across the cosmic gulf, Earth is still listening. And Voyager, against all odds, is still speaking. What makes this mission truly remarkable is not simply how far it has traveled. But the treasures of discovery it carried back along the way. The story begins in the 1960s. When NASA engineer Gary Flandro studied the paths of the planets. And noticed something extraordinary hidden in the mathematics of their orbits. Between 1977 and 1980, the giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, would align in a rare cosmic formation. An arrangement that occurs only once every 176 years. Such a chance could not be ignored. By using a technique known as gravity assist, a spacecraft could slingshot around one planet after another. Borrowing speed from their immense gravity. And racing outward across the solar system in record time. It was like building a super highway through the planets. A shortcut that could turn decades of travel into years. NASA seized the opportunity. In the summer of 1977, they launched not one but two spacecraft. Voyager 2 first, followed just 15 days later by Voyager 1. Though Voyager 1 left second, it took a faster path. Overtaking its sibling on the way to the outer planets. The mission at first seemed humble, a planned four-year journey to study Jupiter and Saturn. But what unfolded reshaped the way humanity saw the solar system. At Jupiter, Voyager revealed a giant world alive with violence. Its atmosphere swirled with endless storms. Its magnetic field more powerful than expected. And its cloud tops rolling with chaotic energy. Then came Io, one of Jupiter's moons. Long thought to be cold and dead. But Voyager uncovered a shock. A world erupting with active volcanoes, the first ever discovered beyond Earth. The revelations did not stop there. At Saturn, Voyager unveiled intricate new ring structures. It spotted hidden moons, some with hints of geological activity. And it brought humanity face to face with Titan, a hazy, mysterious moon wrapped in a thick atmosphere. One that hinted at chemical processes that might resemble the origins of life. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 pushed forward into deeper space. Becoming the only spacecraft ever to visit Uranus and Neptune. There it revealed tilted magnetic fields. Powerful methane storms. And icy volcanoes erupting on moons like Triton. For the first time in history, the distant points of light in the sky became living worlds. Worlds with weather, landscapes, and strange alien drama. Each Voyager carried only a small set of instruments. Tape recorders. Magnetic storage. And computers with just 68 kilobytes of memory, less than a single photo today. Their radios transmitted at only 23 watts, barely more powerful than a household light bulb. And yet NASA's deep space network caught their signals across billions of kilometers. This was more than science. It was proof that humanity could reach farther than ever before into the unknown but Voyager 1's journey did not end with the planets. Its story was only beginning. Because its new mission was not about flybys or photographs. It was about crossing the ultimate boundary. The frontier called interstellar space. A region no human-made object had ever entered. The place where the protective bubble of the sun fades. 
and the vast ocean of the galaxy begins. That boundary is known as the heliopause. Here, the solar wind, streams of charged particles rushing outward from our star, finally loses its strength and is overcome by the pressure of particles drifting in from deep space. For decades, scientists wondered, how far away is this invisible edge? Would Voyager ever reach it? And if it did, what would it find? On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 gave the answer. At a distance of 121 astronomical units from Earth, 121 times the span between Earth and the Sun, it became the first human creation to leave the solar system. And the crossing was not quiet. Its detectors recorded a sudden surge in cosmic rays, high-energy particles arriving from the galaxy beyond. Its plasma instruments captured strange fluctuations in density. The sound of charged particles vibrating like ghostly music. But there was also a puzzle. The magnetic field did not flip direction as expected. Instead, it continued almost unchanged. As though Voyager had stepped across a threshold, but into a space that was not entirely separate, a strange twilight zone between the Sun's influence and the galaxy's domain. This mystery remains unsolved even today. Did Voyager truly cross into interstellar space? Or is it still inside the Sun's reach, caught in some strange boundary layer we barely understand? Voyager's data hints that the edge of our solar system is far more complex than the simple bubble scientists once imagined. Now, as it drifts further outward, Voyager sails toward the distant Oort cloud. A vast spherical halo of icy bodies, the frozen remnants of the solar system's birth billions of years ago. The Oort cloud is so enormous, it may stretch a full light year across. Voyager may take 30,000 years or more just to pass through its farthest rim. By then, human civilization will have transformed beyond recognition. Our languages, nations, and technologies may all be gone. Or perhaps we will no longer exist at all. And yet, Voyager will continue its journey. A silent ambassador carrying the memory of its creators. Its power source, a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, converts heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. But with every passing year, that power dwindles. One by one, its instruments have been shut down. To conserve what little energy remains. By around 2030, the spacecraft will go silent. The final data stream will flicker and vanish into the cosmic background. And humanity's longest-running mission will end its active life. But even silence will not mean the end. Because Voyager carries with it something eternal. Bolted to its side is the golden record. A golden phonograph disc, designed as a time capsule. Created by a team led by Carl Sagan, Anne Druyan, and others. It is humanity's message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic sea. Etched into its grooves are greetings in 55 languages. The sounds of Earth, the crash of waves, the rumble of thunder, the song of birds, the laughter of children, and the cry of a newborn. There is music, from Bach and Beethoven, to the blues of Blind Willie Johnson, to a Navajo night chant echoing across centuries. There are diagrams of DNA, mathematical principles, maps of our solar system, and photographs of people, animals, and landscapes. It is a portrait of Earth at the moment we reached for the stars. The golden record speaks not only to alien civilizations, it speaks to us, as well. It says, we were here. We lived. We dreamed. We wanted to be known. Even if no one ever discovers it, the gesture matters. Because the act of sending it proves something fundamental. That humanity is more than survival. We are also curiosity. We are also imagination. We are also hope. Voyager 1 is more than a spacecraft. It is a symbol of human persistence, courage, and wonder. It transformed distant dots of light into worlds with storms, volcanoes, and mysteries. It pushed the edge of knowledge to the very boundary of the galaxy. And it continues to remind us that exploration is not just science, it is a statement of who we are. As Voyager drifts ever deeper into the interstellar dark, 
It whispers a challenge back to the species that created it. What lies beyond the horizon? Who are we, truly?